How's it going everybody? David Hedge here, House Hedge Gaming, and today we're unboxing a game that it's an epic collection of Twisted Fables. We're taking a look at a game that has Red Riding Hood as a robotic assassin, Sleeping Beauty as someone you don't want to wake up, and Alice with the weirdest treasure cat you have ever seen in your life in a miniature form. So let's unbox and take a look at the components for Twisted Fables, the epic collection. All right, everybody, boys and girls, this is Twisted Fables, the epic collection that we were able to pick up from Gen Con this year. And this, I got to tell you right off the bat, like the artwork and the color is what got us. Uh, this is basically a deck building game where you take control of a fairy tale character that we all know and love. But in this realm, they have been twisted, really, really messed up stuff. But... As you can see, this has a lot of stuff with it. And let us open it up and go from there. So this is a two to four player game. It's basically like a, a 2D fighter on your tabletop. Uh, it comes with 10 highly detailed miniatures, four 3D fable cards, 533 cards, and a lot more than that. All right, so. Got this here. I'm just going to throw this to the side. I promise, honey, I'll clean it up later. All right. So, everything will just slip out here from the sheath. Let me just stand it up. All right, I'm going to try this. Let's see if it works. If I hit the camera, you know it didn't work. Hey, I didn't do it. All right, cool. Set that aside. All right, and let's lay these down. Oh, that worked. All right. So, we have the... Fable Miniatures, box one. We'll open that up in a sec. We have box number two. We have the two-player upgrade pack. I just want to save this for right now. Uh, the main focus is going to be the big box here in the minis. We have the Flood and Flame. Uh, it looks like this is... Let's see here. It means I need new glasses. All right, uh, so this needs... So we have Match Girl, and it looks like we have The Little Mermaid. See, I'm trying to read this here, but 5 to 1, you guys already noticed it was right there. And right there. I'm doing the hard part right there. All right, so we have them. Then this one is Dark Machinations, which has Dorothy and Shahrazad. Man, if I got that right, that's going to be fantastic. All right. So we have all the stuff for their abilities here. And then we have the big board itself, which has, ha, huh, they don't have them listed here. All right, but I know this has like Sleeping Beauty, Red Riding Hood. Let's actually get into this box first, then we'll get into these and see what's inside. Okay, so we have the big box we're going to open up here. Full disclosure, I started opening up the side, got a little bit zealous. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up and see what you get inside Twisted Fables. Now, the one thing I wasn't able to get from the booth from them were playmats because by the time we did the demo for this and everything, most of the playmats were already gone, so we're going to try and pick those up later. But this does come with the 2D mat that you need for the player board itself because you're going to have your figures going back and forth on the board like a 2D fighter, like I said before. All right, so let's open this up, knock down some miniatures. All right, so we have the punch cards here. These would usually be what you would use on the board itself, but we got the miniatures, really cool. Uh, these are tokens that the characters will use because each character plays different. Uh, when we did the demo, you have Red Riding Hood, who was able to do a lot of shooting and moving while Sleeping Beauty uh, definitely is not a Sleeping Beauty when she wakens up. These are her awake tokens. When she wakes up, she uses these tokens, and this is bad news for the opponent. But we have the punch cards there. We also have the rule book for Twisted Fables. Decent sized book here. Let's actually open it up and take a look. All right, so it goes a little bit over the story. We got the gameplay. And of course, this has the golden rule. So let's read what the golden rule is. If a component's text contradicts any part of the rule book, the rules on the component takes precedent. Yep, that is the golden rule for any uh, board game. So, but we have what's in the game set up and all. And let's take a look. All right, so the layout of this thing, 
is really big. All right, so this has really a lot of storage space. These are the player, oh good lord. All right, so we have the player board. Now, I know what you're thinking. This thing looks big, but what you do is that you will slide your card into here. And then when you need to flip or something like that, it'll easily flip out. You got a little uh, notch here to get your card out. So let's go ahead and get this one open. Now I'm gonna take this off screen, but you can see it's sealed. I'm gonna try and use some sort of cutting implement to get the cards free without destroying the cards. As much as I like the packaging in this, if there was a way to do some sort of a pull tab on these things, it'd be so good. Like you would get for old time magic decks, because back in my day, we had the pull tabs on the pre-constructed decks. Made life so much easier. All right, so I made a little incision there. Let's go ahead and open this up so we can get these cards out without destroying them, Dave. All right, there we go. All right, so let's see who we got. We have Red Riding Hood. Uh, it gives you starting health. It gives you your uh, breaks and all because at a certain point you'll get extra bonus cards and you get all your rules text here. So we got Red Riding Hood. We got Snow White. We have Sleeping Beauty. This is the one that Cindy played. And when she wakes up, boy, does she become such a pain in the butt to deal with. We have Alice. Make sure she didn't have a thing there. We have Mulan. Hey, we got Mulan. That's pretty cool. I didn't know Mulan was in here. And we have Kaguya. All right, so I'll have to read up on that. Not sure about Kaguya. I'm not going to be a person that goes, oh, I know who this is. I honestly, I do not. I apologize. I know who Milan is, but not this one. But those are the six starting characters you get in the game board here. And like I said, you put your player board here. You have your health on here. Uh, you have the, uh, you have the tens on the bottom. Oh, excuse me, you have your lower numbers on top and that snakes around to go here. Uh, if I need to give a little bit of critique, I wish these numbers would pop a little bit more so you can read them easier. But you have that, you have your power track, let you know how much you get to spend on your turn for cards you wanna buy. And then you have your shields, basically your block button. You're holding it and then it shows how much, like, how much damage you're taking before you start taking damage. All right, so we have that. We also have uh, these cards here are ones that you will put on a player board, which I need to find where that's at because that's supposed to be with it, Hope. Uh, the player board lets you uh, move your characters back and forth. You put these in the middle of the board. And with these, they give you special power-ups or do certain things on the board on that space. So you can have like pit traps, you can find special items, things of that nature. You got these little pegs that you would use on the board. The little, st the little standees, excuse me, I hiccup. Uh, the little standees, but we won't be using these since we have the miniatures. And then we have <laughs> brick upon brick upon brick of cards. Now, I do want to point out, I really like the backs of these cards. Uh, these cards are so much smaller. These like... A little bit smaller in Yu-Gi-Oh, but you know what? That's fine. I will just go to my friendly local game store and see if they have the size I need for these uh, for these cards. All right, so let's open this up and see what we have in this one. So this one we have sleep. Of course, I opened up the one with Sleeping Beauty. That's the one that Cindy did. Uh, on the card, you have the certain skills. You have the cost in the card. And we'll do a learn to play on this video later on down the line, or this game in a video later on down the line. But you have skills, you have the cost, and you have the um, text on there what the card does. And she has different ones of these. Uh, when you get to a certain point in a deck when you're buying these cards, you get a certain ability that's unlocked, uh, which is pretty cool. I think that's a great part of this game to where when you hit after every three cards in a stack, this triggers and you get a special ability. But you have the different cards here. 
Uh, the one thing that I wish they would have done is maybe do a little bit of different artwork for each one. Because, yeah, you have shattering chains and you have shattering bones. But you have the same artwork. I know you have the different color border. And I know you want to save money because if you get more artwork, that means more money you got to spend on the art for the artist. Which, by the way, these artists love the artwork. But if they would have done something a little bit different, uh, maybe like bones in the background, chains on this one, something like that. Uh, but beggars can't be choosers. Uh, you also have special cards that you will get in the game. When you get to a certain point, one of these three things you'll be able to get and it affects the rest of the game. The other two get put away. So it's basically like a halfway power up. You're getting your butt whooped, but this helps you out. So we have that. Uh, so now we have the cards for Alice, which is pretty cool. Uh, mind trick. That's actually, I like that artwork. That's pretty neat. Uh, let me bring this up a little closer so you can see. Uh, the cards do stick a little bit. They don't have like a matte finish type deal, which I know my wife will be happy about. But yeah, so let's go. There's Mulan's cards. And all here. And we have those. All right. So let's go ahead and open up the next one here. These are a little bit easier to open up. All right. So these are the, you're basically your resource cards. So you have your attacks. Basically you play this you're either dealing a damage or this feeds into your cards you're playing in your deck. Uh, and there's an attack one, there's attack two, and attack three. And you have the uh, costs on the cards in the corner. Uh, you also have defense ones, defense one, defense two, defense three. And you have movement cards, so because you're going to be moving your character on the board. But those are your basic resources that you'll be using in the game, and you will be acquiring upgrades for those throughout. All right, so now let's go on ahead and break open this deck, which should be the rest of the movement card, rest of the skill cards, or ability cards, as I call them. All right, so you have wilds, which basically can be used for any three. So you can play this as an attack, as a defense, or a move. So we got the cards for Red Riding Hood. She's got energy shields, which, by the way, this is really cool. Uh, she has, <laughs> uh, well, there you go. She's got uh, machine guns built in. Like, she just lifts her hands up. Machine guns keep going. And there's a better side view of it there, which is pretty cool. And we got Snow White. Shattering Truth. We got Venomous Turn. And then finally, we have all sorts of poison. And we have some cards here for Sleeping Beauty, which goes back to that one there. All right, so that's everything that comes in the basic box. This is a t this is for two players. Um, now I just need to find the board that goes with this, which I'm thinking it might be in the two player upgrade pack, but I'll go into that a little bit later. Uh, if I see it on the back, I'll definitely open that up. But now let's take a look at the miniatures for the game. Okay, here's miniature box number one. This has Little Mermaid, Match Girl, Shahrazad, and Dorothy, I do believe. I did unwrap the plastic and I got the box open. I will tell you this right now. I had a tough time opening this sucker. Uh, so, um, yeah, I will be completely honest with that. But let's go ahead and pull these out and see how these miniatures look. All right. So we have Little Mermaid, which is pretty neat there. We have Little Match Girl sitting on a, looks like a demon, dragon. Pull the other two out here. We have Dorothy. And we have Shahrazad. Now, I do love how these miniatures look. My only big thing is that I wish they were in a smaller box. So like this to me, for four figures, I know they want to show the artwork, which I really appreciate. But to me, they could have done a little bit smaller packaging. But you know what? I still really like it, and I just dropped everything. You know what? It's fairly fine. 
Uh, at least with just an empty box instead of a full box. All right, so now we're going to open this. <laughs> Since I'm going to struggle with this one too, here's the sealed. And here it is unsealed. All right, so open the box. I'm going to turn it over. So we have the six characters for this one. All right. So let's go ahead and turn this around so I can actually see what's here. All right, so first we have Mulan, which at least is now, this Mulan has their head on right, because the one I got for Disney Talisman has their head on backwards, which is funny as I'll get out. Uh, we have Kaguya, also looks really nice. We have, uh, this one is Snow White. Open the box a little more. We have Alice with the Cheshire Cat. And I gotta say, look at that cat. That is the freakiest looking cat I've seen in a miniature in a long while. All right, and then we have <laughs> the Red Riding Hood with the biggest Gatling gun for a game. Uh, she means business, ladies and gentlemen. And then we have quite possibly the biggest pain in the butt in the game, Sleeping Beauty. And that uh, that's just amazing. Love the way that miniature looks. But these are the miniatures for the game that you'll be using on the board, which I did find out that is in the 2v2 upgrade pack. So let me show you that, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so here is the 2v2 upgrade pack. So I can show you guys the board, since I now know it's in here. So that does leave a little bit to the imagination, like for the... Uh, board for the original game. There's no board in there. So what would players need to do if they didn't get the complete uh, the complete thing here? That'd be a little bit weird, but I'm sure it explains it in the rule book and I'll go over that later on. All right, so the upgrade pack. So this actually opens up this way, makes it easier. And this is the one I wanted to see here. So uh, this has the map cards, and a few more pips for the two-player board, and it should have underneath two more boards. All right, cool. I was thinking for a second there, like, it's got to have the boards in there somewhere, because if it just had that, if it had just these two and the mat, I would have been worried, but uh, let's go ahead and open the mat here and show you what this is. Because I think it's a really cool idea that they did uh, to have it be like a 2D fighter. So here's the map. Uh, you would have the figures start out on the board where these little highlighted areas are. And you're able to move the figures back and forth. And you'll have the special option of using the cards, the miniature ones in the base game, right in here. But that is everything that I was able to get from Twisted Fables. Again, the expansions I'm going to leave sealed for right now. These will be opened up once we start playing the game a little more. This will give us a few more options for the game. And I can't wait to get the player board so I can start doing a demo for this game for you guys. But that is everything that I was able to get in Twisted Fables from Dimension Games. Well, there you have it. That's what's inside the Twisted Fables Epic Collection. And I know I didn't open up the two expansions. I'll do that later once we play the game through a couple times and get our footing underneath us with the gameplay. Uh, as far as the product goes itself, I love the artwork. I love the colors. It's both vibrant yet dark at the same time. Uh, I love each character has their own different themes. Uh, the source cards are really good to differentiate. The resource cards are really good to differentiate each other from the regular cards. Uh, it's easy to pick out what cards are for which character. Uh, I did say in the unboxing, I wish they would have done a little bit more differentiating the artworks between certain cards. But I understand why, especially with a new company like Dimension Games. Uh, they probably only had like so much they could spend on artwork, but they used it very well. Uh, the big player board for your character, I wish there could have been a little bit more of a eye pop for the numbers on there so you can see those a little bit easier. Uh, but you know what? For a game that I found at Gen Con and one that was at the very back of the row, 
it was a great hidden treasure to find and i cannot wait to get this on the table and hopefully i can get the play mats as well because it'd be a lot it was a lot easier to have the play mats in front of me knowing where everything needs to go and i guess that's one other thing they should have like included is that some sort of like a paper fold out play mat for the game so you can have something to reference uh, throughout and then you can upgrade to the uh, actual playmats that we all know and love to this very day. Uh, so hopefully they can do that uh, at some point in the future or at least have something that you can print off so you can have it ready to go uh, for your next game night when you buy Twisted Fables. So, But I highly recommend getting the game. It's a great 1v1 or 2v2, uh, but it epitomizes the two-player uh, gaming experience that hopefully I will show you in the future with the game. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you like it, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and let everybody know that House Hedge Gaming is here for all of your gaming needs. So thanks again for watching this video, and until next time, guys, stay safe and take care.